Terrafugia, known for its flying car technology, is now talking with Part 135 charter operators about the feasibility of its emerging TF2 hybrid vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. These remarkable machines can pick up a passenger as an Uber or Lyft would, bringing them to a heliport, mating the passenger pod with its airborne component, flying the passengers to a destination, and remating with a rotable undercarriage that drives the passengers to their final destinations. We're seeing most of the demand less than about 30 miles or so in terms of really short hops. But we also think that it's really important to be able to meet today's reserve requirements. And so right now our concepts are focused on hybrid technology where we can have a gas turbine engine that can allow us to have a 30 minute or 45 minute reserve similar to GA aircraft today. One of the neat concepts of using a hybrid for this type of eVTOL mission is that we can size our engine for the cruise power requirement, not the hover power requirement. The hover requirement might be a megawatt or so of power. The cruise may only take like 300 kilowatts. So if we size our turbine for the much smaller power requirement, it reduces our fuel consumption during all phases of flight. And we use battery and motors for that short vertical takeoff and vertical landing period. And we're already talking with the FAA about how the CERT basis, how the new Part 23 Amendment 64 can be used to help create a viable CERT basis for these types of EV tall vehicles. Just a couple days ago, EASA came out with a proposed CERT basis or package for how to certify these types of vehicles. But the whole industry is kind of feeling their way through it. Fortunately, we're all more or less working on a similar timetable. So that really helps if we're all pushing the regulator at about the same pace. Our goal, just like everybody else, is to try to get a TC in the 2023 timeframe. In the meantime, we're doing a lot of early stage concept developing, making sure that our requirements are good, making sure that they're informed by our potential customers, and that we're all imagining a, a world that we all believe can exist in five years. Terrafugia, founded in 2006, has grown from 20 to over 200 employees worldwide in the past year, and has expanded from its Woburn, Massachusetts office to a leased hangar at the Nashua Airport in New Hampshire, as it prepares to ramp up production of its earlier hybrid technology, the light sport category transition, a rotable aircraft. The company is a wholly owned subsidiary of Geely Holding, a global automotive group based in China. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.